So for this problem here, you, you want, might want to make a note of the orientation of your x's and y's. So here we have y squared minus x squared equals negative. So uh, some people, you, if you're comfortable with that, you can leave it like that. However, I prefer my x's in the front. So I'm going to maybe move this x, divide by negative 576 and then put the x in front. Okay, so I'm just going to do it by negative 576 first, and then I'll move the x's in the front. Okay, so I'm going to end up with positive 1 over here. This is going to be my positive term, so 256 divided by 576. It shares a common factor. Okay, so we're going to, this. if we simplify that fraction, we're going to end up with 4 over 9. Okay, so I end up with 4 x plus 2 squared over 9. Okay, so again, notice that I'm just going to highlight this. This term here is moved over here because dividing by negative over negative makes it positive. So I'm going to put the orientation how I normally see it. Okay, and then this 225 divided by negative is going to give me minus. And then 225 divided by uh, 576, they share a common factor. I think that's common factor of 9. So we end up with 25y minus 4 squared over uh, 64. Okay. So first things first, uh, trans x or y. Well, x squared minus y squared equals positive. So this is trans x. Okay. So that's important to recognize. The trans x. I want to identify my a and b values. Okay, so my a value is going to be now the a is in the denominator, so I need to use the reciprocal of this fraction. So it's going to be 9 over 4 is going to be my reciprocal. And then square rooting, I'm going to get 3 over 2 as my a, a value. Okay, so my vertex is going to be uh, 1.5 to the right and left of my center. Okay, B value, okay, again, I'm going to use a reciprocal. This is going to be 64 over 25, so my B value is going to be 8 over 5. Okay, I also need to identify my center, the center of this graph, since there's been translated. My center is going to be based on those, so my center is going to be at negative 2, positive 4. All right, so I'm just going to start sketching my graph in because I think I have my parts that I need. Okay, negative 2, positive 4, maybe somewhere around here. Okay, so that's negative 2, positive 4. My slope of my graph. Okay, actually, I'm just going to plot my points first and then I'll do the slope after. So my horizontal is going to go 1.5 to the right. 1.5 to the left. So this vertex is going to be at negative 0.5, 4. This coordinate here is going to be negative 3.5, 4. Okay. So those end up get, are going to end up be my vertices because it's trans x. And then for my b, that's going to be about 1.6. So it's going to be, you know, uh, maybe somewhere around here and here. Okay, that's going to be negative 2, 5.6. That's going to be negative 2 and down 1.6. That's going to be 2.4. Okay, so that would be that coordinate there. So there's my points. I can find my corners. There's my corners and I'm going to draw in my asymptotes. So I have my asymptotes now, I have my vertex, I can actually draw the graph if I want. The equation of this asymptotes can be based on the slope. Okay, so I'm going to find the slope here. The slope is going to be 8 over 5 over 3 over 2. Okay, so this simplifies, this ratio simplifies to, it's going to be times 8, divide, divide by 2, so 16 on top. Divide by 5, divide by 3, so 15 on the bottom. So my equation of this line is going to end up looking like this. y equals 16 over 15 
x minus negative 2 plus 4. The equation of this line is just going to be the negative slope, so y equals negative 16 over 15, x minus negative 2 plus 4. Okay, so those are my asymptotes. I have my center, I have my vertices, I have my asymptotes. All that's left to do is to graph this, and it's going to be graphed along the x-axis since it's a trans x. Okay, so it's going to look like this. So there it is. Okay, and again, the center, I should just color code the center there in green. There's my center. It's going to be plus a, minus a for, to, to get the vertices. Okay, so this one here, this one's already in the x squared minus y squared, so I think I might leave that as a negative. Okay, so I'm going to divide by 25, divide by 25, divide by 25. So I'm going to end up with uh, 16 x plus 4 squared over 25 minus 4 y minus 1 squared over 25 equals negative 1. Okay, so again, establish your trans. In this case, it's trans y, since it's x squared minus y squared equals negative. My center coordinate is going to be at negative 4, positive 1. Okay, I want to establish my a and b values. So my, B va my A value, my A is going to come from this term here. So I want, again, since A is in the denominator, I need to use a reciprocal. So I'm going to use 25 over 16, and it becomes 5 over 4 is my A. My B value, again, same thing. We want to do reciprocal. So 25 over 4 becomes 5 over 2 as my B value. Okay, so this is my a squared, b squared, so I get a and b this way. Okay, so I have my, I'm going to establish my slope here. So my slope is going to be equal to 5 over 2 over 5 over 4. Okay, so when I have the 5s cancel out, I'm going to have divide by 2 times by 4. So that's the slope of 2. Okay, so my rise is twice as big as my run. So sketch, sketching my graph here, at negative 4, positive 1 is my center. Okay, so maybe I'll do that in green to locate my center. Okay, so it's going to be uh, negative 4, positive 1 is my center point. Uh, using my x, my a and b, it's going to be hard to fit in all these coordinates here. So maybe I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. Okay, so that's going to be negative 4, positive 1. Okay, my a value along the x-axis is going to be uh, 1 and 1 quarter, 1.4. So maybe somewhere around there. Okay, somewhere around there. Okay, my b value is going to be 2.5, so it's going to be up here. Okay, so one and one quarter, two and a half. Uh, so it's going to be twice as long as it is, twice as tall as it is uh, wide. Okay, so maybe I'm just going to stretch it a little bit more there. Okay, so then I'm going to locate my corners. Those corners, again, establish my slope. Again, there's the rectangle that forms from my a and b values. There's my slope. I know it's trans y, so I can basically graph this in. I'm just going to write the equation of those asymptotes in while I have the chance. So it's going to be y equals 2 bracket x minus negative 4, so plus 4, 
and then plus 1. And this will be y equals negative 2x plus 4 plus 1. Okay, so those are my point slope forms. I can then sketch in my graph as a trans y graph. So there it is. So my center is going to be at the center point here, negative 4, 1, plus my, my b value in this case. So it's going to be negative 4 plus b, which is 2.5. So I'm going to get 3.5. And this coordinate is going to be negative 4. And 1 minus 2.5, I get negative 1.5. So those are the locations of the vertex vertices.